Over the past decade, Apple's in-house chip designs, starting with the A4 in 2010, and evolving through the A-series, have consistently set high benchmarks for raw performance, efficiency, and system integration. Many analyses and benchmarks show that, on key metrics, especially single-core performance and integrated GPU efficiency, Apple's chips have often pulled ahead by what some describe as two to three generations, while Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips, although steadily improving, have had a tougher time closing that gap. Apple's focus on custom high-performance cores, as seen from the A7 onward, has resulted in consistently strong single-threaded performance. This has translated into smoother everyday experiences, from app launches to system responsiveness, that benchmark tests repeatedly confirm. In contrast, while Snapdragon chips have improved over time, and recent generations have narrowed the single core gap somewhat, they still tend to lag behind in this metric, which is critical for many real-world tasks. Snapdragon designs often incorporate more cores to boost multi-threaded performance, and in some multi-core benchmarks, the gap can be much smaller. In fact, for tasks that can fully utilize many cores, Qualcomm's chips have sometimes come close to, or even surpassed, Apple's performance. However, the trade-off is that Apple's cores, although fewer in number, deliver higher performance per watt and are more tightly integrated with iOS, contributing to better overall efficiency and thermal management. Apple's strategy of designing a custom GPU tailored to its software ecosystem has allowed its devices to excel in graphics-intensive tasks while keeping power consumption in check. Qualcomm's GPUs have also advanced considerably over the years, but many reviews suggest that when it comes to real-world graphics performance, such as gaming and video rendering, Apple's solutions still lead in terms of efficiency and integration with the operating system. This year, Qualcomm's Snapdragon has truly stepped up its game. In recent Geekbench 6 benchmarks, the Samsung Galaxy S25 series, a Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 4 for Galaxy-powered device seen in a Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, hit a multi-core score of 9,756 points and a single core score of 3,106 points. To put that in perspective, the flagship Apple A18 Pro chip found in the iPhone 16 Pro models scores about 3,444 points on single core and roughly 8,547 points on multi-core tests. That means the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 4 for Galaxy delivers nearly 18 to 20% higher multi-core performance, which is particularly impressive for handling multitasking and heavy-duty processing without hiccups. What really stands out is how this performance boost translates into real-world smoothness. With the Snapdragon's 2 plus 6 core configuration, and with the performance cores reportedly clocking as high as 4.32 GHz, the new chip promises a near-lag-free operating system that can run even older, well-optimized apps with remarkable fluidity. This kind of raw, multi-core power is a game-changer for performance-oriented users who value responsiveness over camera specs. For many Android users, could finally overcome one of the long-standing arguments for sticking with iPhone, ensuring that everyday tasks and complex applications run seamlessly. Such numbers not only highlight Qualcomm's progress, but also signal that Android flagship devices are now more than ready to offer a smooth, high-performance experience that rivals, and in some cases surpasses, what has traditionally been the iPhone's domain. And that is it for this video. 2025 is really a good chance for Android to gain users. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. So you won't miss videos just like this. This has been D from DLog TV. I'll see you in the next video.